Welcome to Decody. Let's continue the series on Frappe Developer. In this video, we will install Frappe framework into our system. Here I am using Ubuntu 20.04, which is the latest version of Ubuntu OS for installation Frappe framework. For installing Frappe framework, we have to install Frappe bench first, and the bench will install Frappe from GitHub repository. The installation of Frappe bench is easy, but we have to install the prerequisites of Frappe framework before installing Frappe bench, and it's a lengthy process. So I created an installation guide in my GitHub repository and I am following that guide for installation of Frappe Bench. I have attached the link in the description and you can also follow the guide for installation of Frappe Bench. This is my installation guide and let's start the installation of prerequisites. And before start installation, you should make sure that your internet connection is active. So we can start from Git. And Frappe framework is hosted in a GitHub repository. So for cloning and installing Frappe, we need git installed in our system. So let's open my terminal. You can use this shortcut control alt t for opening the terminal. Then for installing git, you can run this command sudo apt get install git. Then press enter to large the password. So let's enter the password and press enter. For continuing the installation, press Y and enter. Okay, now we successfully installed Git. Let me clear this terminal. Now we have to install Python dev package and which contain the header file for Python. And we have two options. We can either choose python2 dev package or python3 dev package and in this tutorial I am using python3 dev package. For installing python3 dev package we can run this command and I am copying this command using ctrl c then I'm opening my terminal then we can paste by using the shortcut ctrl shift v then press enter for continue press y and enter ok now we successfully installed python dev package let me clear this next we have to install setup tools and pip and uh, setup tools is used for uh, build and distribute python packages and uh, pip is a package manager for python and here also we have two options we can either choose python 2 setup tool and pip or python 3 setup tool and pip i am using python 3 so i am copying this command then open my terminal then paste here then press enter that's why okay now we successfully installed pip and setup tools let me clear this. Next we have to install virtual environment and uh, virtual environment is a tool for creating isolated python environments. Ok for that let's copy this command and paste it in terminal then press y to continue. Okay, let me clear this. To avoid name conflicts of python, we can alias python3 and python and also pip3 and pip and I am copying this command for aliasing. Now we alias python and python3 and one more command for pip. Now we alias the name. Let me clear this. Next, we have to install MyDB, and uh, Frappe uses MyDB as the default database. And here I am installing MyDB from repository. For installation, I am opening this link. And uh, now we have to choose our distribution. I am choosing Ubuntu because I am using 20.04 Ubuntu and then the release is 20.04 
then I am choosing MariaDB version 10.3 so now we can see the commands which is used for installing MariaDB 10.3 into our system so let's run this command one by one and we can start with here let me copy this open my terminal then paste and run next command this is the key Now we can add MariaDB. Okay, let me clear this and next we have to run this command. Let me clear this one more time. And now we can run this command for installing MariaDB. Press Y to continue. Okay, now we have to enter the password for MariaDB root user. So I am entering my password then press tab to select ok then we have to re-enter the password you have to remember this password and when we create our site it will ask the MariaDB root password for creating database ok now we successfully installed MariaDB into our system let me clear this and Go back to my installation guide. Next command is an optional command, and uh, we can run this command if the MariaDB installation does not prompt the password. We can set up that password manually by running this command. So I am skipping this step because I have already created that uh, MySQL root password. So next we have to install database de development file for MySQL. So for that I am running this command. And press enter, press y to continue. Okay, let me clear this. Okay, now we have to edit the MariaDB configuration file, and uh, we are editing that file for adding Unicode character encoding. And for editing, you can use this command. I am copying this command, then paste it here, then press enter. Now we can see the my.cnf file and we have to add these lines into that file. So I am copying this and we can paste it here using Control shift v and let's arrange the tabs. And you can save using Control x then press y then press enter let me verify that I am running this command one more time and now we can see the lines here press ctrl x one more time then clear this terminal next we have to restart our mysql because we edited the configuration file for restarting mysql we can run this command and let me run this command in terminal now my SQL is restarted ok now we can install redis server for installing redis server I am running this command press y to continue And next we have to install node.js and for installing node.js we can run these commands I am running these commands one by one
and now we can install node.js using this command copying this command and paste it here and press enter now we have to install a package manager for uh, javascript and i am using yarn for installing yarn we can run this command sudo npm install yarn i'm copying this command and running this in terminal lastly we have to install webkit html to pdf converter and which is used for converting web page to pdf format so for installing that i am copying this commands let me clear this and paste it in terminal now we can install webkit html to pdf converter and run one more command okay let me clear this now we have successfully installed all the prerequisites which is needed for installing frappe bench and uh, now we can install frappe bench and for installing frappe bench we can use this command and let me copy this and paste it here and run now we can see requirement already satisfied message because i have already installed bench previously into this system for testing so that's why it is showing this message if you are installing first time you can see uh, some files downloading from github repository and uh, installing frappe bench to complete this frappe bench installation we have to restart our system so i am going to restart my system before that let me clear this terminal and we can exit from this terminal using exit command and press enter and uh, now i am going to restart my system Okay, now I successfully restart my system. Let me open my terminal. And now we can check our bench version. For checking bench version, we can run this command bench version. And uh, now we can see our bench version which is 5.2.1 and we successfully installed our bench before winding up this video we have to install one more thing and which is a code editor and uh, i am using visual studio code in this tutorial and uh, we can install visual studio using ubuntu software manager then can search Visual Studio. And here we can see Visual Studio Code, and click here to install Visual Studio. Let me enter my password. Now we set up all the requirements and bench for Frappe framework. So let's find up this video and see you on the next video. Bye.